My name is Nathan Clover, my partner is Stephen Mott, and today we're going to demonstrate our product, Trashy, the smart bin for smart recycling. Recycling is important, and it's quite easy. However, there's a misunderstanding sometimes about what is or isn't recyclable. On top of this, there isn't a feedback loop to alert you to whether or not you've correctly done something or incorrectly recycled. We're looking at ways of how we can incentivize people to recycle. So when designing our solution, we knew we wanted to develop a smart bin. We wanted to develop a consumer IoT product that provides households with detailed alerting and information about their recycling habits. We wanted to leverage open source datasets for vision-based recycling object detection that we perform ourselves using custom vision AI. We also wanted to ensure that whatever model we developed would scale up from household environments to industrial recycling centers. This is just a quick demo of what Trashy is capable of. As you can see, the bin is empty and the light switches on when we open the lid. Now let's go ahead and uh, throw away some recyclables. Uh, so we're going to throw away just two glass bottles. So we'll just pop those in there. And now if we go back over to the web interface. Straight away on the web interface, we can see that the bottles have landed in the bin through the video feed. When we refresh the page, we can see that the glass container has indeed been picked up and classified. We can click resolve and then update items in order to resolve that item. Here's a high level architecture diagram of our final solution. Let's step into each individual piece and describe how it works and what it's able to achieve. Now I'll be the first to admit that I'm not an expert on deep learning. Custom Vision AI made it really easy for me to take on an open data set and repurpose for my own needs. I didn't need to spin up a large scale GPU cluster or even understand what a loss function was. I didn't even know what a neural network was or which libraries I might've needed. That was all handled for me behind the scenes through the platform. And at the end of the day, all I really cared about was the metrics and the accuracy. By the end of it, we were able to export our final model as a Docker container that would work specifically for the Raspberry Pi, which was the platform we chose to go with. Our choice for our Edge device was based heavily on the fact that pretty much every hacker in the household owns a Raspberry Pi, so we had a consistent platform to work with. There was also a great IoT Edge solution and SDK already available that worked with Azure IoT. We wrote some code that was able to capture images from the Raspberry Pi camera and then utilized Azure modules on the edge in order to send that image across to the image classifier, which was running the pre-trained model that we built in the previous step. That module was able to perform inference on the images that was sent and return back what trash was in the image. The final piece to our platform was the presentation layer. We received information about recyclables over service bus. And this queue is processed by an Azure function the function performs ETL on the data and then puts the results into Cosmos DB. From there, our front-end notification app is able to alert us to the fact that we've put recyclable materials into the bin. Here's a couple of shots of how our hardware design looks currently. We've got a plank of wood where we've mounted the Raspberry Pi, camera, and the light that turns on when the bin lid is opened. Thank you for listening to our presentation. If you'd like access to any other source code for this project, you can hit it up on our GitHub. We've got information around our design, our architecture, the setup and a list of very detailed instructions on how you can set up your own trash yourself.